Hey guys, make sure to check out Flyaway Simulation. It's got loads of great stuff, including freeware downloads for FFX, the latest aviation news, forums, and a whole lot more. That's flyawaysimulation.com or just search Flyaway Simulation. Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use autopilot. I won't be showing you how to land with autopilot or how to use uh, ILS. Uh, there are some other episodes, links are in the description. Uh, but I will be showing you how to use things like altitude, uh, speed, and heading and setting up a flight plan, etc. So here is the episode. <laughs> Okay, so here's where I'll be showing you how to set up the autopilot in the 2D panel, uh, just basically because it's easier for you guys to see, I think, in the 2D. So this is basically the autopilot panel here, um, what I'm showing you with my mouse. It's basically basically all you need, um, other than maybe the GPS or the primary flight display, which is what I'll show you in a bit, uh, and how to set up a flight plan. But that's basically all you need for now. Um, so I'll show you the speed first I'll show you how to set that up uh, and then I'll show you the heading uh, so that's that one there and then uh, I'll finish with the altitude and uh, the vertical speed um, there at the end uh, and then I'll go into the primary flight display and flight plan so you're going to need the flight director switch that's pretty much the first thing you need to turn on which is this pink line just here those like crosses two pink lines even, um, crosses there. there. That's the first thing you're going to need. I'll explain more about what that actually is and does uh, a little bit later, but it just tells uh, the plane basically what to do. So to set up the speed, it's pretty straightforward. You just uh, go ahead and type it, or like use the dial to type in what speed you want. So let's just say uh, 300. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, touchy, this thing you can go over and under a lot but yeah so 300 um, so then all you need to do after that is hit the speed and auto arm you need to hit the auto uh, throttle switch first that one there so if you just flick that up it will turn green in a second um, and it basically just gives permission for the aircraft to use the throttle and then you can hit the speed switch uh, so that's basically then they're coming up on the primary flight display and that's the speed set up that it will the aircraft will then try there as you can see it's at 268 it will then try to get to 300 um, as you just saw there on the primary flight display and that's basically all it, you need to do those three little buttons there uh, flight director switch is separate to speed but it's basically to get the whole thing to work so against heading same thing you just dial that up to whatever you want so um, you can see the pink line just there that's what you're setting it to uh, and you can see at the top there as uh, so like yeah at the top you can see it like goes goes round and we're at 075 so if we want to go at 075 we set the dial at 075 and then we'll continue on this heading that we're going at but I don't want to do that I want to turn it um, so I've turned it to 040 I'm just gonna bring the aircraft down a bit here um, so then you just hit the heading switch as you can see nothing's happening again that's because you need to use the uh, autopilot master switch for both the altitude and the heading which is this one just here but we'll activate that once we've set up the altitude um, so altitude again it's already at 30,000 but again you need to just uh, dial it up to whatever you want using that switch there so let's just say 38,000 uh, then you need to hit the auto outside the altitude switch and then as you can see on the vertical speed uh, hold select it's coming up with 1800 uh, that's basically set, telling you um, what what speed the aircraft's going to go at uh, overall um, for a altitude so it's saying it's going to climb at 1800 feet a minute that's basically what that is and you can change that accordingly so the heading and altitude both need the master switch to be turned on but the speed doesn't uh, that's separate that's a separate thing so uh, most pilots we usually have at about 2500 um, once like right after takeoff you know a steep departure basically uh, so they'll have it on 2500 for there and then maybe once they've reached 10,000 they've got they're on the right heading and course and everything uh, they'll then usually bring it down to about t uh, 20 or 2200 something like that and maybe if they're in mid-flight 
uh, you know, maybe it's like a six hour flight and they're suddenly told in the middle to go down uh, to increase altitude a little bit, then they'll use about 2,000 there. Um, so to activate the heading and altitude, which is then connected to the virtual speed, uh, vertical speed hog selector, you just hit the autopilot master switch just there. Uh, the layout's all pretty much the same, by the way, for the, um, so you can just see the heading there uh, that it's going to turn onto that pink line. The layout's pretty much the same for most aircraft, uh, Boeing and Airbus and all things like that. So um, that's pretty much the same. So you can just see it's turning there, and you can see all three are selected, all three are highlighted up there, speed, heading, and altitude on the primary flight display, which just lets you know that. Uh, and I'll show you into more detail of that in a second. So um, that's pretty much all you need to know. That's the basics. Uh, so if you want to find out some more advanced uh, things to do, so I'll take you through the primary flight display and how to set up a flight plan, then keep watching. So for a few more advanced things, I'll just show you first the uh, primary flight display. So you can just click on that. It brings up a larger version. So I'll just make this slightly bigger. Uh, there we go. So I'll just bring that out there. Um, so, I'll just bring you through the basics of this, all you need to know. So you've got speed on the left, hopefully you already know, and altitude on the right, again, hopefully something you should already know. Um, and they're basically the two main things you'll be looking at. You've got speed at the top, heading, and altitude. They're, if they're green and the flight director's green, it means they're all on, the autopilots are on. Um, so I'll just bring that speed down to an even 300. Uh, so you've got your, what your speed is set at, 300 and what your altitude set up 35,000 so they're up there in purple at the top and you've got a little purple arrow on either side basically showing where on the chart up or down is 300 on that chart there where is 35,000 on that chart there um, so the pink so the purple or pink however you see it uh, is there for, right there for 35,000 but it's up there for 300 that's because we're at three th 35,000 feet but we're not yet at 300. That's starting to come down now as we get to 250 knots and then that will slowly come down as we continue to uh, get a faster speed. You've also got your heading set down there at the bottom, 040, and the little pink uh, or purple dial there as well. So I'm just going to bring down the speed because as you can see there's some uh, red dots coming up. Uh, which basically means that you're going to go into overspeed if you get to that speed. That's one thing to look out for. If it's yellow, it just basically means you're going to be going into overspeed, and you don't want to be doing that. So I'll just bring it down to 260 there. Uh, so we're just one knot away from that there, and uh, the uh, or sorry, the purple has just about lined up with that there. So these uh, pink lines here are the flight director. So I'll just show you what they do. Basically, it tells the aircraft where to go. So I'm just going to disable the autopilot here and I'm just going to uh, move the aircraft. Excuse my flying, don't fly like this. Um, but it's just tr I'm just going to try and get away from that flight plan, get away from my altitude. Um, so basically it's come out of line. And um, you've got two lines there. And the center of your aircraft there, that white box, is uh, your center of the aircraft, which is what should be lined up with where the two pink lines meet. So if you just try and like raise the nose of the aircraft there and then you might need to bring it down a little bit. It is quite hard to get used to at first. Um, or it's actually hard to do it at all at first because the aircraft will sort of go up and down and then you'll miss it, especially if you're so close to the desired altitude as I am. Um, so once you see so now I'm about there. Um, so basically that's what that does. It's just telling you where to do, and it's quite a good way to practice to disable autopilot, set all the autopilot up, but don't actually enable it. Uh, it'll then help you sort of try and um, reach that 35,000 reach, uh, your heading, things like that. So your vertical one is obviously for your heading, and your horizontal one is for your altitude. So if you only skip to the altitude one, you'll reach 35,000 feet. If you only skip to the vertical one, uh, the heading one, you'll only reach your heading. That's basically how that works. So you control uh, the autopilot by typing it in, which then places those um, lines on that primary flight display, and then the aircraft follows the lines. That's basically how it works. Um, and it's a good way, like I said, to practice. Um, so that's pretty much all you need to know for the primary flight display. That's all sort of the basics of that uh, for getting used to there. Um, so next thing I'll show you is how to bring how to do a um, 
flight plan. So I've just brought up the GPS here pressing shift three. So you just press that button there, display direct waypoint page. Uh, hit that button. There's nothing on there because uh, we've we've not got a flight plan in. It tells you the nearest airport, EGSD, but we don't want to go there. So if you just hit the arrow in the bottom right, the smaller one, uh, twice, it will then come up with this page here. And then you just type in with your keyboard where you want to go. So I'm just going to do EGGW, which is Luton, uh, London, Luton Airport in London. Uh, so once you've typed that in, you then just hit enter three times because uh, it act to activate it in. So once, and then it goes to activate, and then again and again. Um, so you can see there that a uh, purple line has been drawn in. Uh, so that's basically what you need to follow if you want to get to that airport. That's all it is, basically a flight plan. Uh, this is just obviously a basic, usually you need to set up waypoints and things like that. Um, so your heading's not gonna be able to follow that. That's not how it works. Um, so you need to flick the, uh, hit this switch here, the nav hold switch, um, which says VOR above it. Um, so if you just hit that one there, nothing again will happen. You need to flick the nav GPS switch over to GPS, telling the aircraft to not follow navigation anymore, which is your heading, uh, but to follow GPS, which is the thing that we just set up. So as you can see there, the aircraft is then turning over to the left to try and uh, line up with uh, that pink or purple line there. So that is all you need to know. So thank you for watching this uh, video of how to set up the autopilot. If you want to find out how to land, how to take off, how to taxi, how to use ILS, all the links to those different tutorials are in the description and I'll be having a new, uh, more tutorials coming out soon. Um, so thank you for watching this video. Please remember to check out my other multi-gaming channel Tectonic, link will be in the description. And I'm also going to have another video coming out in the next uh, maybe month or so uh, of a real world flight that will be going on. So I'll be showing you that as well on this channel, sort of like a vlog. Um, so that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching.